This is Nipton. It's on the edge of California, about as far as one can go before ending up in Nevada. It's a pretty quiet place, just a few dozen residents, most living in RVs. Yes, it's, uh, it's kind of an interesting thing to observe Nip Nipton on Google Earth. As you zoom in to uh, this particular spot in the middle of nowhere, it's hard to imagine that people do live here. Maybe it's the trains. Watching them pass, people say, is a major recreational activity in these parts. When the train passes, you stop talking. Uh, whatever you have to say can wait until the train passes. This is Gerald Freeman. In the 1980s, the former gold miner bought Nipton on the cheap when it was still a ghost town. He named himself Principal Administrator and fixed it up. But the old-time equality wouldn't budge. Nipton is still essentially much the same as it was in 1920. But that's about to change. Last summer, Freeman had solar panels installed on the outskirts of town. 80-some-odd kilowatts from Silicon Valley company Skyline Solar. They'll be Nipton's gold mine, he says, a way to attract eco-tourists headed to the nearby Mojave National Preserve, all while helping the town gain independence from volatile utility bills. But not all residents are enamored. Rashawn and Melissa Gordon love dogs, hunting, and above all, their view. I, I like the concept of solar energy. I like the fact that it is a clean alternative energy source. But I wish it didn't consume the amount of land that it consumes. Freeman says he intends to preserve Nipton's nostalgia. A good place to start might be the Whistle Stop Cafe, which serves the area's best and only burgers. Best burger in town. <laughs> Best burger in, in 20 miles. I think you're going to 